This is not fiction. This is technology. This is where smartphone communication I think we're live right now, right? I apologize. All global mainstream operator networks are tested here. This is the Sarla. It simulates the effects Sorry. of electromagnetic <laughs> radiation on I the body, apologize. Leading imaging My bad. Enhanced by remote tuning. Welcome, everyone. An anechoic chamber right. exploring the limits of human hearing. Thousands of ambient light conditions to create the best of displays, overcoming challenges <laughs> through unrelenting effort. Through perseverance and dedication, wisdom and craftsmanship, just to exceed your expectations. All right. So for those this who don't know, of is the Xiaomi is releasing of Mi the Mi 11. These I will show it are in a Xiaomi bit laboratories. In 25 minutes, and of course, this your questions here as well. Xiaomi technology. So be sure to uh, check back when you have some questions about the device. I will enter as much as I can. The result of our relentless I... IE pursuit is industry-leading technological breakthroughs. For example, our Mi Pen Ultra. It featured groundbreaking 120 watts charging, 120 times periscope zoom, and 120 hertz display. End-to-end 360-degree -end innovation. We now stand at the cutting edge of smartphone innovation. Let's zoom in on cameras specifically. In just last year, we topped the prestigious DxO Mark charts for over 120 days across the camera category. One of the ways we achieved this was through our rigorous testing process. We've automated this process using equipment like what you see here. Testing that used to take nearly four days to complete is now achieved in one single day. In that single day, we'll perform more than 2,000 tests, and this is repeated and refined until our software is nearly perfect. These tests include color accuracy, focus, and much, much more. Mi 10 Pro held the number one audio score from time of launch through to the end of 2020 and beyond, according to DXL Mark. The sound quality from Does our speakers is truly yeah. world class. This is due in large part to our extensive audio testing, where we test the fidelity, quality, and above all else, user experience. All these are done in our anechoic chamber, which is probably the quietest place on earth. Another significant milestone has been 5G innovation. We released the world's very first commercially available 5G smartphone with our Mi Mix 3 a few years ago. Since then, we have iterated and improved across nearly a dozen models. Testing for each one of our smartphone models takes place in our highly advanced 5G labs. Here, we test a comprehensive set Just of parameters if you can hear me to ensure an optimal 5G experience across the world's most used operator <laughs> networks. TNT. I can't confirm anything. Optimizing 5G happens on the hardware level as well. We test transmission speeds and antenna optimization in all conditions. Our antenna lab, by the way, looks like a scene straight out of a sci-fi movie. I kind of want to shoot in that, honestly. Our operating software is also rigorously put through its paces as well. At any given time, we have close to 2,000 smartphones being tested and optimized. The data output from this is used to optimize MIUI software in daily use cases. Finally, our displays are engineered to a world-leading level as well. Our display lab is capable of simulating almost all of the natural lighting conditions that exist on our planet. <laughs> hey, brother. From rain to sunshine, well, thank you. sunrise to midnight. All of these to give going. you a world-class display experience. Hey, Darvik. Hope I said Innovation the name is in our blood. Even in Power challenging times, in box. this is something we'll keep pushing forward. Out. 2020 was our most innovative year yet. 
and we believe 2021 will be even more so. By innovating, Xiaomi has achieved an amazing 3,639% growth in the premium segment year on year. This makes Xiaomi the world's yeah, fastest growing, growing really premium brand the amongst Xiaomi. the top five. And today, we're ready to take a big Honestly, step for forward price, with a new premium me, product. Like, even though this is a sponsored uh, Let's step video, into the spotlight. live stream, they give a lot for the price. No, not really at the moment. The Here's spotlight the is on. And, and today is on Mi 11, our latest flagship phone for 2021. Mi 11 is all about being ready for the big stage. <laughs> Let's take a look at the video shot on Mi 11 at the world's most visited single artist exhibition, Keen Lab. Seriously, I want something with the depth of that. Hey Ben, thank you man. How are you Ben? I'm doing all right. How about you, man? Oh, I want to shoot in that. Honestly, imagine the picture that you can take right there. Oh. How is everyone doing? And what are you Borderless, excited about when it comes We have to created movie device. magic, and, and that is what Mi 11 is about. Movie magic. This flagship device will let you add that little bit of magic to every video that you watch or create. At the foundation of Movie Magic is our studio level camera. Mi 11 features a primary 108 megapixel camera, 123 degrees ultra wide, and tele macro lenses. Combining these, Mi 11 really lets you shoot like a director. Let's take a look. Really has some really cool options when shooting. Ooh, welcome for a gym. The first member of my gym. <laughs> I guess that makes up a little bit for the fish and chips, I guess. Some of these modes are actually quite nice to have. Like this slow shutter effect, I really like that effect. And of course the, the, uh, the little point. See, Amazing videos, again. right? Uh, What's really magical the parallel is that each that of these videos nice. can be done with just a single clip. Magic Zoom lets you create background only zoom to change perception. Yes. Welcome, Roger. Time freeze lets you isolate and freeze just part of your video. I'm curious to test that one out, that time freeze. Parallel World gives you a two-sided view of your scene, whilst Freeze Frame lets you create and catch up with moving clones. Very cool. The MJ move. Time Lapse simplifies long shots, and Slow Shutter lets you create unique artistic blurs, all with just a single click. Beyond shooting like a director, Mi 11 will let you edit like a production studio. Hello at a studio, Finland. some hey. of the most critical steps Finland, are color man. grading and color correction. Beautiful country. That These are typically very time-consuming processes. But we wanted to keep it simple for you. So we optimized eight extremely easy-to-use video filters in partnership with a leading video production firm. What that is going to let you do is set mood 
and tonality in your films without needing a professional studio house. That's good. Harry Potter vibes. Questions ready about the device as well. You had some, of course. Uh, questions again. Okay. Ivan, is that a good or bad thing for you? These professionally tuned filters have been specifically selected to make sure that the filter that's right for you, whatever you choose to shoot. That was amazing, wasn't it? So we talked about shooting like a director and editing like a studio. Now, <laughs> let's talk about lighting. First, That'd be we need massive stripes and lighting things up with our ultra night video. Please. Enabling our night mode is a layer of software powered by exceptional hardware. Video always been a struggle software with phones. Such as raw level oh, noise reduction hard. and hardware such as 1.6 micron super pixel NOIS offer excellent low light performance. Let me show you what these can achieve. Low light video almost probably sucks. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. I, I ain't wearing a suit. Uh, bro. Not sure, I'm saying if I'm saying it correctly. Hi. That was incredible. And Me 11 really is movie magic in low light. But what if there's almost no light? Watch this. To show you just how effective ultra night mode is, let me bring out Daniel. Daniel? Thank you, Shirley. Not a suit. Now, for as you, he uh, said, Mi 11 happen? offers incredible low light performance. We've achieved this, this through a variety of hardware and software optimizations. It's a bit bright in here, isn't it? This is an area where a great number of competitor smartphones fail to perform low light conditions. But let's say it gets even darker in here. Now this isn't gonna just lead to subpar video. It's gonna mean lost moments and lost memories, especially in extremely low light conditions. Now it's dark in here. But as you can see, Mi 11 performs incredibly well, adding visibility where there would have been none. That's actually pretty Ultra night video is a massive leap I'm gonna, of course, test it out properly. Me 11 uh, outperforms see many other flights in, real world. in any lighting But that's solid. You Back to you, Show. It's not fake or anything, because you saw it getting bright as well when uh, the light was going on on the phone as well. Thank you, Daniel. So it's actually that was incredible, it wasn't impressive. it? I'm going to have to test it out. Only right Another now, important aspect of lighting is HDR. For our first time globally, Mi 11 will offer HDR 10 plus. What this enables is much brighter and clearer colors, shadows, and lighting. The overall effect is quite noticeable yeah, really versus is. HDR 10, and extremely pronounced versus previous generations. Just it's so you know, like many competitors in this why. segment are not HDR 10 plus capable. So make sure you are looking out for these details when making a purchase decision. And this time, we've also added Pro Time Lapse. This gives you full control of exposure, focal length, and much more, so you don't waste time while shooting time lapse. Xiaomi Studios, our fan-driven platform for video creators, has some very exciting news as well. Mi 11 will be partnering with an award-winning director who shares our vision of making videography more accessible. Reynold Gerset. Winner of the Cannes Lions Award and our Mi 11 director. He has some words to say. Bonjour tout le monde. My name is Ryan Gasset. I'm a French commercial director. Et Cannes Lions Award. Really and a creator at Art.
I've shot big and small production all over the world, but for me, creating is why I've been doing this for so long. The beautiful thing about creativity is that there's no limit. Don't believe me? Check out this short film and see for yourself. Everybody back in Swifties! What, what is Swifties? And hi everyone, by the way, for those new watching. In 11 minutes I can uh, show the device. Uh, yeah. uh, that looks good. I have to think of a way how I can really push that camera. I'm gonna try to see if I can think of something in a very creative way. Testing done. that. Now seeing how it performs. And maybe just upload like a short video of that. Believe it or not, the entire film was shot on the Ooh. B11. Stay tuned until the Thank end of the video to hear more about my son shooting this film. Appreciate it. You can maybe get a fish. Oh, wait. No, don't Thank you, Reynold. Following our launch, we'll be kicking off our Xiaomi Film Festival, in which Mi creators around the world will submit their work shot on Mi 11. I will do that. A panel of judges will then pick wow, a winner. Thank you. So stay tuned for more details. Flexing, huh? Photos are also an integral part of the smartphone experience. Our camera <laughs> setup in Mi 11 includes our custom 108 megapixel sensor. This sensor is huge, significantly larger than those found in competitor phones. This means two things, big detail and lots of light. Combining that with our custom OIS module to reduce shake and blur and a 1.6 micron super pixel, this is one of the world's very the best Mysterious. smartphone cameras. 108 megapixels gives you the maximum amount of detail, like here, in each drop of water on her forehead, or here, in details like the houses in this small mountain village. I really love this photo. <laughs> Beyond that, we've included an yeah. ultra wide which has become a necessity over recent years. Yeah, no ultra wide angle a must. is perfect must. for looking up. Like here, amongst these wonderful trees, it really gives you a breathtaking perspective. Finally, we have telemacro. Now, for those of you who don't know, what the telemacro does is use an extremely long focal length to help determine proper depth and low? focus. Oh, and use it to zoom into shots that up a like bit. a microscope. Our tele micro lens back. captures beautiful macro photos. Like this small blueberry in this glass of tea here. <laughs> At the same distance, hey, thanks, Joe. competitor phones will thanks miss man, out on a it. huge amount of detail. Macro now, shots, if macro, done well, Mi can look really nice. This edit range gives you a much deeper ability to capture small I look solid. Photos. I have to test it. Because right now the device that I have like is not device. a full... Mi 11 device in a sense in every it's it works properly and whatnot but i want to be sure that i get the uh, release version One before i review anything is faster processing and a, a beer right, I'll, I'll have a beer on you man thanks fact, joey this is 30 percent faster than in previous oh, joe, joe sorry not joey what the hell our night mode joe. improvements are not limited to ultra night video we have also taken our photo night mode to a whole new level Competitor and previous generation smartphones are limited to night mode on a single primary camera. Mi 11 will still offer night mode on our primary camera, but we will extend it to ultra wide and the selfie cameras as well. Good. This means three different cameras to shoot night mode, enabling you to capture the nighttime angle you need. With one of the world's best 108 megapixel camera, 8K, and some of our most advanced software experiences ever, Mi 11 has taken videography and photography to a whole new level. Next, 
Let's talk about something <laughs> really important to me. Oh, I'll call you Joey from now on then. Me 11 is star quality on display. For me 11, Six minutes left, guys. we have a new resolution. This resolution is called WQHD Plus, which stands for Wide Quad High Definition. WQHD Plus, simply put, is nearly double the resolution of the typical smartphone display. It is packed with pixels, featuring 515 pixels per inch, making it one of the most detailed displays in the entire world. In practice, this is going to massively increase the individual details of everything you oh, see. Do you mean from Ivan? apps to images. And I'm doing fine, Joe. How about to you, man? To make the most of this, we've added super... Or did you ask someone else? <laughs> this is upscaling technology which can up to triple the resolution of videos you see, including those found on YouTube, Netflix, and more. It does this by analyzing and extrapolating video data in real time at the pixel level. With high refresh rates of 120 hertz, paired with an AMOLED panel, this is one of our best displays ever. Not only did we use a higher refresh rate than competitors, We've used Yikes. a four-stage <laughs> adaptive sync. This gives us a variety of refresh rates that automatically that is good. adjusts if you have content, a high refresh rate, saving battery have while it offering the best adaptive. possible image quality. At an amazing 480 hertz, Mi 11 offers the highest touch sampling <laughs> in the market. For those of you who didn't know, touch sampling is how often Mi 11 detects your touch per second. To give a point of reference, the world's best-selling tablet, the iPad, offers a touch refresh rate of up to 240. And professional drawing pads used by designers typically cap out at 200. Mm. Well, this I, I, I see what you're saying, Ivan. I see what you're your saying. And touches Not sure if I 100% agree, because I don't detected. think people will naturally connect the two brands w together, but I see what you mean. 120 hertz AMOLED and 480 hertz touch sampling make a great display. But we wanted to make sure that this display was of cinematic quality. So this is we had to take good. it even further. First, we used a cutting edge E4 AMOLED. This AMOLED offers incredible specs with 20% higher peak brightness and a 5 million to 1 contrast ratio versus 2 million to 1 for the iPhone 12 Pro. And to make sure you can view the HDR 10 plus videos you shoot, Mi 11 offers you HDR 10 plus display as well. We've also tuned our hardware to offer 10 bit color, which features more than 1 billion colors. Mi 11 offers 64 times more color than competing and previous generation Ten bit is actually quite a huge Here, gain and important to have, honestly. You can clearly the bit see weight is so much better if you have how it have processes bit. gradient colors, with Mi 11 offering a very smooth, real grade. That's possible, uh, Joe. To give you an idea uh, Joey, of how this compares, uh, yeah, I said I call you Mi 11 now. offers a Delta E and JNCD of 0 0.41 and 0 0.38 respectively. Much more than the 1.34 JNCD found in the iPhone 12 Pro. Bringing all these together, I can confidently say that Mi 11 is setting a new cinematic standard. It actually is really a good display. Mi 11 has been awarded a huge honor by one of the industry's very best display certification organizations, <laughs> DisplayMate. <laughs> DisplayMate has offered Mi 11 the best smartphone display award. This is a massive achievement and the culmination of many years of R&D investment. Beyond winning the best display award, Only half a we <laughs> also set new records for display performance across right, 13 would be quite handy categories. To have more kidneys. These categories include measurements of image shift to peak luminance and cover top level details like peak brightness, color accuracy, and visible resolution. Display quality has been a core area of focus for us. And we are very happy to bring these to you in Mi 11 Movie Magic.
curve is and that standard it's a little bit curved it's far it's and beyond curved, those though. offered by other phones hey, let's in go the digital. industry here we'll put it next to the iphone 12 pro so you can compare every movie needs a soundtrack when we watch movies using our smartphones we want high quality sound to match the amazing display as well. This is why Mi 11 features sound by Harman Kardon, I a world have leader in audio equipment with nearly that. 70 it's years really of history. Quality. We've worked tirelessly together to ensure that the high quality speakers in Mi 11 are flawlessly tuned for your listening pleasure. Let's listen to what they have to say. It's funny that that is now owned by Samsung, by the way. And uh, now it's on a Xiaomi device, which actually I'm pleased with. Audio quality is actually quite Premium solid. sound is the marriage this, of art and technology. Level. From elegant and sophisticated speakers to the simple splendor of luxury automobile sound systems, Harman Kardon have been committed to pursuing perfect sound quality for 67 years. Every Harman Kardon logo is precious representing the world's most discerning golden ear. Noting an adjustment of each and every detail, they are the sculptors of Harman Kardon sound, with the ability to discern individual sounds beyond what most people are capable of. When the rich, artistic heritage of Harman Kardon sound meets the modern, innovative technology of Mi 11. The result is <laughs> yeah. exceptional sound with a personal touch. Parallel world. The expertise of golden ear engineers it. ensures every detail is tuned to artistic perfection. Today's innovations make every bit of audio more realistic. On Mi 11, high quality stereo speakers allow every sound to immerse you in the story. And with audio sharing, you can share the joy of premium audio with your loved ones. This is premium audio, tuned by some of the world's most talented ears. I have this on, uh, is the perfect uh, marriage of art well, and technology. This is actually really good. the smartphone with sound by Sound quality on this is actually also quite good. Pairing the golden ear and tuning with our leading hardware has led to a truly phenomenal listening experience, worthy of all your favorite films. Paired with the tuning of Harman Kardon is a pair of excellent dual speakers. But we also acknowledge that sometimes you want a different experience. That's why we're offering something very, very cool. Dual headphone and speaker support via Bluetooth 5.2. What this means is that you can connect the two Bluetooth devices to your Mi 11. That's important. So for example, you can connect the two Bluetooth speakers place them in different corners of your room to give you a very different sound experience. Or two sets of headphones so you can listen comfortably with your friend or significant other. Mi 11 has you connected with great audio. Fancy, right? Mi 11 is designed for the big stage. To share some thoughts on our new yep. design philosophy, let's switch over to Daniel in our and studio course, the where the magic happens. Is on top as well. That feels really visible for you guys. Thank you, show. Hey all, Daniel here. We're here in one of our Xiaomi design studios to talk about the Mi 11 design vision. Now, first, one of the most important things we considered is how it feels in hand. Some devices intuitively feel better, so this was an important requirement in designing our new flagship. It's quite nice. Next, we knew we wanted to be curved. We offer some pretty incredible flat screen devices, but a huge percentage of people greatly prefer curved for the way that it feels in hand. And designing it to be curved there are a lot slims the edges even more, thing. giving it a I'm more sure if it's cohesive close, but feel. Still. Lastly, we wanted it to be unique, but subtly so, with just enough flair to be elegantly different. Doing this tastefully is a huge achievement for us because it's easy to design different, but done wrong can be a little bit distasteful. This is a core goal in the final design. A bit of insight into how we do things at Xiaomi. CMF is of core importance. We test everything, down to even colors. While designing Mi 11, these colors here are just what made it halfway. 
after we experimented with hundreds of options. We do this because even colors I had to can be refined to be better to be and better and better. At the beginning, now, in I creating these colors, used to it. we use extremely advanced processes. For the blue version here, we used a two-color layering process that layers blue yeah. over top of a luminescent gold. The final effect here, Definitely the color colors. appears uniform, but appears different at different angles. And it has the like final a colors, texture horizon effect, blue. So it's not too flashy, you know? Just a bit and matte, midnight gray. which is actually quite nice. Breathtaking. And maybe equally important for some of you, they're highly resistant to fingerprints. Now, we know color is key. So we're going to be making more and more colors available, such as an incredibly elegant white. I like that white, though. Now, that white is really nice. If white is done well, as it I looks said, really cool. We were sure that we wanted a curved device, but we really want to make the best of this. So, Mi 11 is curved on all sides, every edge on the front and every edge on the back. That's eight total curves. Every plane is seamlessly melded for the optimum experience. Hey, can you see them? Can now, with come? this, something people often worry about is mistouch. So at a hardware level, we've included a mistouch sensor that ensures you're not accidentally touching the screen. CMF, though, is a key element of the design process. The M in this means considering different materials. Glass intuitively feels better, but we also want to consider resiliency. So both the front and the back use Corning Gorilla Glass, but the display is incredibly critical and needs the highest level of protection. So we've used the toughest Corning Gorilla Glass yet, That's Gorilla important. Glass Victor. And it has Real glass done really well will that survive process. drops on the rough, hard surfaces from up to two meters. This will cover your full height. Competitive aluminum silicate glasses from other manufacturers will typically damage when dropped from more than 0.8 meters. So, Mi 11 display is protected for more than twice the competitor drop distances. Additionally, the scratch resistance is four times better than competitive glasses. This makes Mi 11 our most durable display yet. To cap off design, we made it thin, much thinner than many other flagship options. Mi 11 is 0.9 millimeters thinner and 12 grams lighter than the previous How generation. How much is it? Oh, okay, 8 millimeters. It's basically. So, like our colors, we put a lot of effort into the centerpiece of the rear design. Now, the camera By the way, guys, don't forget to uh, ways, like the thing that separates one phone from another. So, we work tirelessly on this Halo design. With how we interact with the world on social media, our cameras have become a new way to see the world. And we really wanted this Halo design to reflect this. Once we decided on the final Halo design, we iterated and tested dozens of minute differences in the Halo. Finally, ending with a single piece of glass. Now, this single piece of glass doesn't feature any small gaps in between the layers. Inside, we trimmed the corner of our 108 megapixel camera module. This ensures that we can reduce the size of the camera bump to its minimum thinness. This allows us to curve the rear of the glass without increasing the size of the camera module. Now, we thought mm. deeply about the meaning behind each and every element. For the speaker design, we thought long and hard on exactly how this should look, particularly without Harman Kardon sound backing. So rather than using generic uniform holes, we decided to emulate the form of audio waves. Details matter, even the little ones. Now, Mi 11 is the sum total of 11 years of design study, evolution, and learning. This is the bleeding edge of what we do here at Xiaomi. It's designed to be functional art with just the right amount of something that sets it apart. Now, for each person, that something special is going to be something different. Whether it's the unique color, the sleek quad curved edges, the new way to process the world, or the attentiveness to detail. Maybe it's just the sleek smoothness notice. of it all. Basically, it's like Mi 11 quad curve. is designed for the spotlight. Can you see it? Thank you, Daniel. Next, Mi 11 will power your performance. Mi, Mi 11 was the world's very first smartphone launched with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. Of what makes this processor so special? First and foremost, 5G support and groundbreaking 5 nanometer processing. 5 nanometers requires the world's most precise and advanced smartphone manufacturing process. The Cortex-X1 is a custom architecture solution that offers significantly enhanced performance. This allows an overall increase of 30% in performance 
versus previous generation. This is supported by three A78 cores, which offer 20% better sustained speeds. What it basically means after this, fast. by the way, you, I'm gonna answer some questions Together, that you have about V11 the features our so greatest sure entry to score of all time to, uh, at an out. incredible 745,000. V11 is really ready to power your performance. Backing this incredible performance is the Adreno 660 graphics processing unit, which makes V11 one of, if not the very best device for mobile gaming. This GPU sports a performance improvement of 35% and offers support for 10-bit HDR gaming. To celebrate the launch of Mi 11, we will begin a collaboration with the most popular mobile game of the year in 2020. Now, how many can guess Genshin what the game Impact. is? Never mind. <laughs> this game is like a new standard on product being tested. Mi 11 offers great Genshin performance. And beginning with Mi 11, we'll be working with the game producer, Miho Yo, to give you a better and smoother gaming experience. More details to come, so stay tuned. Today is more than about Mi 11. We are also giving you an update on Mi UI. To tell you a bit more, let me pass things off to Abby. Honestly, Mi UI has grown a lot when it comes to the software. Getting better and Thank better. you, Sho. Hey everyone, my name is Abby. Last May, we released MIUI 12. MIUI 12 was yours alone and features tons of different advancements like a new control center and system optimizations. Now, you can start getting ready for MIUI 12.5. This is an intermediate damn, update works. based on MIUI 12 <laughs> with focus on system optimizations. No one plays Fortnite. And in order to deliver an optimized system experience, we've rewritten our entire system UI, reducing core scene memory usage by 20%. Pokemon Go. And in Ooh. recent tests, CPU usage is reduced by up to 22%, while power consumption is reduced by up to 15%. This lets you enjoy a lighter, smoother experience with significantly longer battery life. Take system level full screen gestures as an example. In previous systems, gestures and other tasks are rendered on a single thread. This means gestures compete for CPU usage with other apps. With everything competing for CPU usage, opening, closing, or switching between apps may become less smooth and laggier than you'd hope. With MIUI 12.5, we've prioritized these gestures by rendering a dedicated thread. The advantage here is that gestures will be competing for CPU resources with other apps. It's like having a dedicated fast lane for gestures, which guarantees instant response. This makes your system experience smoother and faster than ever. Next, we believe this is something that our Mi fans would truly, truly love. With MIUI 12.5, most system apps could be uninstalled, as you can see here in the middle. And some app package are included in the system core, but their icons could be hidden as well. And compared to other operating system, MIUI 12.5 is as simple as it gets. Uh, if you don't want bit, it, simply uh, uninstall it. It's, the it's option blue, is yours. Actually... And most importantly, for our really first nice release thought. schedule, Mi like 11, it. of course, will be included in the like first batch cool of devices to receive the update. Color. And the first wave of MIUI 12.5 rollout will start in Q2 of 2021. Oh, the Mi 11, of course. Yeah. And for our second wave, we'll be pushing for updates to more than 11 different Xiaomi devices. The release schedule for other devices will be gradually published on our MIUI website, so make sure you stay tuned. Now, back to Mi 11. To make the most of our leading hardware and software experience, Mi 11 improves the Wi-Fi 6 experience. Wi-Fi is an area of constant focus and innovation for us. And this is more than your standard incremental leap forward. Cannot hear because screen. Um, 
you not hear me or is the me eleven up? Wi-Fi 6 or Mi 11 is fast. Speaking of speed, Mi 11 will let you charge forward into the spotlight. For the first time in our global markets, we'll be offering 55 watts wired charging. This allows a full battery charge in just 45 part. minutes. And that is from a completely empty 0% charge. 45 minutes. Wireless charging max speeds have typically lagged behind wire. This and is this is something we wanted to improve on. This is why we are offering 50 watts wireless charging in Mi 11. This will juice you up in just 53 minutes and vastly outcharges competitor flagships. Even wired. To put it in context, flagships. Mi 11 wired charging is half the time of competitor flagships. For wireless charging, it is less than half the time. This is key when you need a full battery in a rush, especially for those of us who often forget to charge our phones at night. As for chargers, we're sorry to say that we are not including an inbox 18 watts charger this time. This is because you probably have a number of those no, already. Don't judge too fast. In exchange, we are including a 55 watt gallium nitride charger. <laughs> so sneaky, we realize <laughs> that very few people have charges of this capacity, I like that, what they did so there. we made sure to include it. One of so the best things about a 55 the watt GAN charger 55. is that it is capable of charging more of your gear, including laptops, gaming consoles, and smartphones. It's also highly compact at about half the size of typical silicon based chargers. 55 watts wired charging, 55 watts inbox band charger, <laughs> 50 watts. Oh, wireless first charging 10 watt. Okay. And we've even included 10 watts wireless reverse charging, which is useful to use your phone to charge your GWS earphones. We believe this is truly wireless charging a is actually quite nice as well. Charging experience. To ensure that the show can keep going, we've also included a 4,600 milliamps big battery. I really like how this it is. This is more than 1,200 really milliamp hours ah, bigger than nice. some typical flagship phones. Next to competition, it's clear which phone deserves the spotlight. Bigger battery, faster charging, reverse wireless charging, and an included 55 watt GAN charger inbox. Mi 11 is ready to power your performance. This is probably the very best flagship phone for 2021. We have a few final Easter eggs for you. Things you may not have known about or even thought about having in a smartphone before. First, we support heart rate monitoring. Let me show you. I haven't tested that one yet. All you have to do is put your thumb on it. This is really useful for tracking your daily health or monitoring your workouts. Let me see if I can quickly find that because I haven't looked at that yet. Me Pen features we'll some of the best in haptics a in a smartphone, and we've innovated even further here. 
Mi 11 features higher maximum vibration and a shorter start-stop time for fine-tuned, sophisticated feels. I'm We've yeah, even enhanced our audio it, during it, video recording. Yes. Um, a battery Typical can smartphones when you do that. always believe that something wonderful is about but to happen. That being said, you can we'll pick up lots of background, background noise. Well, so you have Mi the 11, to however, quickly charge uses an and AI algorithm if you isolate add a feature voice. and then remove Always what makes that something the feature wonderful is about to happen. So that you will only hear what you want to, which leads to a much more high quality sounding video. Finally, health is still paramount. So we've included an antibacterial case and screen protector in box. Good. Mi 11 is an incredible phone. Oh, Let's nice one. Congrats on passing that exam, uh, Aditya. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. Nice one. You don't know uh, uh, the person. Quite a supportive person. My channel and so it might be like other Is my sound wrong? Yeah. Something, something wrong? Can you tell I'm not often live streaming? Or, well, not. Live streaming. <laughs> Finally, let's talk about price. Mi 11 is movie magic with 108 megapixels that lets there you shoot a like a There is slight difference, by the way, for the Netherlands. I'll talk to you about that in a little bit. Hertz WQHD Plus display, premium two layer anti glare finish, and Corning Gorilla Glass Victors. The fast and 5G connected Snapdragon 888 and some of the fastest charging speeds available. Yeah, that's actually really nice. Stacked and I like to have that clear case. You can see that similar clear devices case. cost okay, over good, a thousand yeah. euros. But for those of you who know this us, very true. and of course that includes all of you, you know that we believe in honest prices. So Mi 11 will start at 749 euros full retail price. For that's more a good information, price. make sure you check your local social media channel. We're working to make Mi 11 available as widely as possible. Mm. That is why it's going to be available to a variety of global carriers, such as the following leading carriers and more, with further details to come. A slight difference for the Netherlands. For the Netherlands, Mi 11 the only version available, available is 8GB of RAM and 256 as early gigabytes of internal as memory. February. For those of you who prefer to purchase online, we'll be offering a 0% interest monthly installment plan by your me.com in selected countries. Please stay tuned for more details. And we're so confident in Mi 11, we'll be offering a two year warranty free of charge. This is double of what is typically one by other free screen repair. Furthermore, we'll replace first time damaged screen glass absolutely free of charge within the first year. That's actually so really solid. Flagship Mi 11 with more peace of mind. Check out me.com for availability and conditions. Better display, better processor, better camera, bigger battery, faster Bro, charge. <laughs> Mi 11 is truly worthy of the spotlight. So 749 for the base start, version, amazing 799 for the more prices. expensive 8 gigabyte uh, version and 256 this gigabytes of internal memory. Movie for 11. the Netherlands, it's a bit different. Definitely I'll worthy explain of that the a little spotlight. bit in a bit. More details on availability for specific regions will follow shortly, so please stay tuned to your local official social media channels. Okay, quickly to, I'm gonna put him a little bit lower. Uh, for the Netherlands, 849 for the 8 gigabyte version with 256 gigabyte internal memory, and it will be available via Vodafone and uh, KPN. So for both of those providers, it will be available, which is first. And uh, like stated, 8 gigabyte, 256 gigabyte version is the only one available in the Netherlands for 849. The flagship segment. Xiaomi, however, is more than smartphones. Our business model integrates smartphones and AIoT. Outside of smartphones and laptops, there are now over 252 million connected Xiaomi AIoT devices today. This makes us, and we're very proud of this, the world's leading consumer AIoT platform. 
And we've been rapidly growing in the TV category as well, and rank amongst the top five in the world today. <laughs> tech edition. So today, Roger, you got enough of your edition. You also got your TV Life of technology. Tech PC case edition. The Mini TV Q1 75. I want days. that. To tell you more, I'll pass things off. I to want that TV. Me hope. Hey everyone, my name is Emery. I'm so excited to be here today to introduce to you the yeah, Mini TV Q1 75. So you see, I can't certainly Using not say about that price. Display technology, we're bringing life and quantum clarity to your home. Let's start with the obvious. It's a premium TV, which means it's an yeah, enormous probably a lot, Roger. display for your home. I want that TV. As some of you probably guessed, the Q in Mi TV Q1 comes from the Q in Q LED. This is the technology that we use to bring true to life colors, crispness, and clarity. But what does Q LED mean? It's actually fairly simple. A conventional LED TV consists of basically three parts. A layer of white light emitting diodes, a layer of optical film, and the LCD module. So, the white light from the LED shines yeah, through is. the optical film to create colors on the display. And the price For is actually LED really TV, good. We replace the white LEDs with blue LEDs. Uh, and then we Joey, add a layer I always wanted to say, Joe, sadly, and the optical we film. are not allowed to use stuff here in the Netherlands. Let me explain a little bit more about what the quantum dots are and what they do. The quantum dots are semiconducting particles made from nanoscale crystals. By varying the, the size of the particles, really good we can TV. use the blue of the LEDs to create pure red or green. Let's check out the quantum difference. With your conventional LED TV, you'll get mixed colors, especially the reds. With a QLED TV, you get pure, distinct colors. The main benefit is that QLED TVs are capable of showing a much wider range of colors. This chart shows all of the colors that the human eye is capable of seeing. The white triangle represents conventional <laughs> LED TVs. They're capable of showing about 72% of the NTSC. This is a color format that was developed specifically for TV. Th that's the much fair, larger obviously. red triangle represents QLED TVs. 100% of the NTSC standard. What does this mean for you? How will this affect your media consumption? Let's take a look. So, here we have a conventional LED TV. It's not bad, but the colors are a bit muted and flat. Now, what about when we add those quantum dots? I think that difference is pretty impressive, but let's back it up and take a look one more time. First, plain LED TV. Colors are flat. Now, bam. QLED TV By the way, don't forget, after this live colors. stream, I'm going to stay online a it's little bit so you can ask your questions can make. about the Mi 11. In fact, Mi TV Q1 75 inch with quantum dot technology is capable of providing more than a billion true to life colors. That's similar to other premium TVs. Now, what this means for you is that instead of this generic sunset in my presentation, try to picture this. You're watching your favorite visual masterpiece, and it's the sunset at the climax of the movie. You keep getting distracted because there's these weird topographical lines running through the sky. With the Mi TV Q1 75 inch, you get the perfect creamy pastel sunsets just the way nature intended. So, the Mi TV Q1 75 inch has true to life colors. But on your current TV, you may have noticed that sometimes on the blacker nights or the darker scenes that your TV glows a little bit and lights up your house. With the Mi TV Q1 75 inch, this doesn't happen. You get deep, true to life blacks and bright vivid whites. How? Dynamic local dimming uses a full array of 192 zones that can each individually dim to create true to life black. Not glowing almost black, but deep, true to life black. 192 zones that is more than twice as much as some other premium QLED really TVs. The end result, a 10,000 to one contrast ratio. That's more than double that of a TV without local dimming. Let's take a look at what they look like side by side. First, we'll have a conventional LED TV without local dimming. Watching movies now, with the left one. Xiaomi Studios video is full of color. 
but try to focus on the blacks in the darker sections nice. around the edges. Next, Especially we'll the blacks. The new That's TV the most important part. Of inch with 192 zones of full array of dimming. The comparison is night and day, or dare I say it, black and white. Okay, so it's not as distinct a difference as black and white, but you see what I mean. Dynamic local dimming makes sure that when you're supposed to see black, <laughs> you get real, true-to-life black. And with the picture-perfect details of 4K ultra-high definition, that's four times as many pixels as full high definition, you're guaranteed to have a richly detailed cinematic Actually experience really right nice in TV. your house. These details hold even when the say. lighting in your media <laughs> is highly variable. You can have bright, clear knows, skies him, and I'm not rich sure about detailed shadows. But he's fine. You don't have to choose. Larissa, hey, TV oh, Q1, if you have high dynamic range, Larissa can straight away answer in the chat. HDR10 plus. So you can be sure that your content always looks just the so way sure the director intended. If you have intended. any questions, you know, and I don't but have the answer to them, the colors and the blacks you can answer them straight away. Me, TV, also, uh, welcome, Larissa. Also How are you doing? 120 hertz refresh rate and motion estimate, motion compensation technology. That's MEMC for short. This is perfect for fast-paced videos like action movies or sports. The result is exactly the same as if you were watching it live. Yes, that's good. Smooth digital. and uninterrupted. Really nice TV. All of this is supported by the powerful MediaTek MT9611 chipset with a customized Xiaomi chipset solution to provide that buttery smooth 120 hertz refresh rate and MEMC. So, <laughs> that's the Mi TV Virtue, Q1 that's 75 inches display. Precise, that's a good question. Dynamic I watch a movie 20 frames per second, then the screen zones, will go 6 hertz. Providing deep, true um, and brighter whites. All good question. in 4K ultra high definition. Add in that buttery smooth 120 hertz MEMC. Of course, it's not going to exceed the 20 frames per second, 24 frames per second. It's not going to magically make it 60 frames, but that's impossible. Chipset, and it's clear to see so the why you should try living life maybe go in down to that? I'm not sure. It will for save battery, of course, but for almost no, no, 3,000 sure. euros, the Samsung Q80 T features almost exactly the same specs, though without this support for Dolby Division, solid. like the Mi TV. You'll see. Thanks, DNC. That's commitment. What's a cinema worthy display? Yeah, it is it is sound. adaptive. With it has like from one on the twenty to thirty well frames per second. Dolby on audio and BTS depending HD, on the content. The Mi TV Q1 75 inch easily provides a fully immersive cinematic experience. And with Android TV ten, you get easy access to over seven hundred thousand movies and shows. As you're browsing those <laughs> 700,000 movies the and shows, that'd be a really you'll find good deal. You'll yourself using... Oh, well, Larissa already spoiled it. My favorite it. part of the Mi TV Q1 75 inch, a 360 degree Bluetooth remote. Never He's again it. wave your arms and <laughs> click, 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 trying to find the perfect placement to activate the IR receiver on the TV. Wherever you are, whichever direction you're facing, just press the button to get where you want to go. Of course, that also includes dedicated Netflix and Prime Video buttons for even more access to your favorite content. Yeah, I even I but sometimes wait. the remote is missing. Your hands are full, or it's just a little bit too far away on the other oh side yeah. of the couch. Um, Red slot. Okay, I'm not Google, even going to try the last name. Away, I would assume Google that system. 30 hertz would then be adopti okay, uh, adaptive. How's the weather? But I'm not 100% sure about that, honestly. Oh, but you would assume be so. Cold. Because if the video Thanks, is 24 frames per second, course, and it is an is adaptive display, of course, that can switch between 120 hertz and 30 frames per second, then you would 
imagine that now, it would switch to 30 hertz, but I'm not 100% sure about that. And easy and convenient access to all of your favorite AIoT products. Okay, Google, turn on the Mi Smart Air Purifier. How does your YouTube? Okay, let's. Uh, let's You're the best, this. Google. Stay connected at all times with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0. Behind the Mi TV Q175 inch, you'll find all the plugins you need. Yes, that's including HDMI 2.1 for your next gen console. Speaking of next gen consoles, the Mi TV Q175 inch is I'm a perfect choice for gaming. Yet on this it's device, got 75 but, uh, inches it looks of 4K like ultra pretty. high definition, 120 hertz refresh rate, that Why HDMI 2.1 I mentioned a second ago, support for Dolby Vision and HDR10 Plus, okay. stereo speakers, and automatic low latency mode. It's truly a gamer's dream display. I know I would have loved to have had a couple of these in our living room back in college. Couple? And finally, if you what want to simply and at, easily at continue point. watching what you started on your commute home, <laughs> Me TV Yeah, I kind of I kind of stole Larissa's phone, I guess. Cast for your convenience. I'm sorry. <laughs> the big screen is always just a cast away. Me TV Q175 inch is well, 75 inches. 75 inches of incredible viewing in quantum clarity. Like all good displays, Mi TV Q1 gets out of the way. Samsung TV just looks old by now. The limitless display with almost no bezels ensures that you're seeing just the content you love, not the TV that's showing it. Of course, you will see the TV sometimes. So we gave Mi TV Q1 a premium metal finish and this sleek minimalism inspired support blade. We've specially customized this based on <laughs> consumer research and feedback, and it I'm truly sorry, looks Larissa. great. <laughs> Altogether, the result is a beautiful piece of hardware that will complement any room you put it in. Premium metal, the limitless display with almost no bezels, the sleek support. It really is a stunning TV. All supporting the enormous hey, 75 time. inch 4K quantum dot display. Let's check out a quick recap video. Seriously, one bad. Also, I love the, the style that they go gone for. Okay, we go. Light up. All right, lighting up the me smart LED bulb. So that's the Mi TV Q1 75 inch. True to life clarity in 4K QLED. Rich, entertaining content with Android TV 10. Control for your smart home and a premium design with a limitless Why display. Tech time? Oh, I love As the TV. Earlier, it actually looks really good. That giving all of these 120 hertz display would cost Q nearly 3,000 euros. That's without Dolby Vision, Android TV, or Google Assistant. Why? <laughs> Let's see what the Mi TV Q1 75 inch will really set hey, you back. And let's not forget, there's also a Mi 11 still here. Starting from just 1,299 euros. We will talk about this the price. This price is truly incredible. Mi TV Q1 75 inch will be available starting in March of 2021. It will come to order. In Italy, France, Germany, Poland, and Spain through Mi.com and authorized Mi stores. Quantity is limited and store availability will vary. So be sure to call ahead or check online. That For thing will markets, be gone in a second. The Mi 75 inch is coming soon. So be sure to stay tuned. Now, pay close attention. For the first day of sale only, we're excited to offer a select number of Mi TV Q1s for an even more incredible price. Just 999 euros. <laughs> Again, limited quantity, limited availability, and it's first for now sale only on me.com in Italy, France, Germany, and Spain. This is an offer too good to pass up. The Mi TV Q1 75 inch, 4K QLED, 120 hertz refresh rate, Dolby Vision and HDR10 Plus, MEMC. Uh, it's only the 75 inch. Version. Android TV and Google Assistant built in, all for just 1,299 euros. 
a better cool. TV for an even better price. And if you time it right, you can get this incredible TV for less than a thousand euros. It's time for you to live life in quantum clarity. I do have one last That's incredible a really product good deal. to introduce today. And the Mi 11 Let's as well, by the way. But we'll talk about that in a little bit as well. As the world's best-selling electric scooter company, you know that any time you step onto your Mi electric scooter, there is you're riding scooter. with the best. Today, we're excited to take Michelle, that one step <laughs> take further. Time. For our next electric feeling. scooter, we're partnering well, with actually, Mercedes I'm really AMG glad because, uh, Patronus uh, Formula Lewis 1 team. Has been really kind to me. I'm proud so to introduce with that contact, the Mi really electric nice. scooter Pro 2 Mercedes AMG Patronus Formula 1 Team Edition. We first teased this product last summer, and we're so excited that it's finally here. Nothing but the best. So, we're bringing you the best design, inspired by the swift spirit of the Mercedes-AMG Patronus Formula One team. And, of course, the best performance, with up speeds of up to 25 kilometers per hour, on up to 20% inclines. On top of that, your battery will last for up to 45 kilometers. So, how many are allowed to course, use this? The best also means the best safety features. The Mercedes AMG Patronus F1 Team Edition will be equipped with bright headlights, rear brake lights, like it, and though. reflectors to ensure you're seen by others on the road at night, and a double braking system to ensure that you slow or stop exactly when you need to. What's it going to cost to ride with the best? Up to 45 kilometer travel distance, maximum speeds of 25 kilometers an hour. Reliable double brakes and an easy folding design, all in the bold design of the Mercedes AMG Patronus Formula One. I don't One get team. why this is not allowed. Well, an electric bike that goes euro. much faster isn't allowed. Sales will be starting it's soon allowed. via me.com, authorized me stores, and local retailers. And those electric bikes cost so much more. Ride with the best. I don't get why this the is not allowed. Scooter Pro Two Mercedes AMG Patronus Formula One Team Edition is waiting for you. You can still use it, but just not on public roads. But I don't get it. Now back to you, show. Hey, boss, looking sharp. Ready for the shoot today? Thank you. I am. All right. See you there. <laughs> Joe. This is everything we've launched today. Me 11, Me TV Q1 75 inch, and our Mercedes AMG Patronus F1 Team Edition scooter. I want it's all been of them. an absolute pleasure, everyone. Stay tuned for an interview with our director, Reno. And that is a wrap. Hello again. I hope you enjoyed the launch and my film shot on the Mi 11. Filming with the Mi 11 was a brand new experience and very different from the equipment that I normally use for on my production. The Mi 11 Pro mode, the movie mode, and movie filter make it easy to create something really special. Just like when I pick up my first camera, I start filmmaking film. A big part of my life is filming on a big production set. So, in this film, I wanted to capture <laughs> the juxtaposition between professional production and the creative easiness of working with a phone in your pocket. When I was coming up in the industry, expensive film equipment was the only way in. Today, people can create amazing yes. imagery with a in phone a bit, in their pocket. When this ends, we're going to, of course, answer day, some questions that you have about like the Mi 11. I hope my film today was a testament to that. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you can also create with the Mi 11. Thank you so much. Yes, and guys, we will launch even more. Ooh. Can I have a little teaser, Larissa? <laughs> I promise I won't be a day early with the video. That was the end of the stream. It's been really good. All right, let's. All right, that's just flexing. Okay, I'm gonna lower the volume of this and just keep that on the background. I'm gonna. I had a separate camera activated as well, but we're just gonna make this one a little bit larger so you can still have that on the background. So. Do you have any questions about the device so far?
uh, about what it can do, but also just the general questions. Just as a note again for the Dutch people that are in here, um, the Xiaomi Mi 11 is in the Netherlands only available at 8 gigabyte and 256 gigabytes of internal memory for 849, but it will also now be available at KPN and Vodafone, and that's also a first, which is actually quite nice. Those are our local providers basically for those who are not in the Netherlands. It's actually quite a good deal still. It's 849. You do get a charger included. 55 watt charger even so that's actually really solid 50 watt the first uh 50 watt wireless charging 10 watt the first charger yes Alyssa. hopefully you get a little bit busy with questions well unless everything was clear then there wouldn't be any questions i guess of course i'm gonna test out the camera i really want to do something creative when it comes to that camera testing out the video quality but also uh, the pictures as well just to see how it performs in different things different situations because i really want to see how i can push that camera uh, to make something really cool and something really creative so i'm gonna of course test it out can it be manually set Ooh, i haven't gone into those settings let me just check Yes, you can set it to 60 or 120 hertz. Uh, as you can see, how does that? Don't, don't get to me. Oh, okay, one second. Let me just do that. There you go. Back to me. There we go. appreciate it let me get and the sound quality when it comes to the sound quality by the way it's actually quite solid so there's really no complaint about that at all it's really solid in terms of sim you can see sim 1 sim 2 there is no micro sd or anything like that Soon, of course, I will have an unboxing as well. I'm gonna make it special again. I have some really cool ideas uh, for it. Uh, so stay tuned. This is, I stole this from Larissa. So uh <laughs> yeah, I don't have a proper box for this one, but we'll get a proper unboxing and a creative one. You know, not just, here you go. That's the fun, a really creative one. So yeah, ask away questions about the device. Uh, do you want to hear an audio test, maybe? Um, although that's, of course, going to be difficult to uh, properly emulate. Let me see. <laughs> I know, Louis. No worry, no worry. Let me just... Uh, one second, let me select the video in a bit. Give me a little bit. This <laughs> this is me floating. Ooh. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> that nice one. All right, let me Of course, I'm recording it via a microphone right here. So you're not going to get the experience properly. Let me just see if it's not picking the audio like crazy. But the audio quality is really solid.
think it's not picking up. Yeah, we should be good. Actually, really solid sound. You know, gotta watch my own video, right? <laughs> but actually, really solid. In terms of volume, it's a bit harder than, for instance, the S21. A uh, little bit less bass, but a bit more natural sounding. Right. So yeah, anyone, any questions left? Uh, do you want to see the future of remote work? Oh, that's, that's a question for you, Lewis. So, yeah, it is actually quite a nice grip to it. It's uh, quite thin with 8 millimeters, which is honestly fine. And the back has like a, it, it's, it's a bit matte, which is actually quite nice. It doesn't have like a rough texture to it, a rough texture feel to it, but it feels solid. It feels good. In terms of buttons, it, it doesn't make a sound, but it has a, well, a little bit, but it has a really good click to it. Like it's a high quality. UK, UK prices, I'm not 100% sure about, because that's of course not the the market here. So I don't know what the UK prices will be. Uh, Pre-order is from the 26th of February, of course, before the Mi 11. And I say that you do get a charger with the international version as well. Don't know anything about the uh, potential of an 11 Pro or anything, so I'm not gonna talk about it because I don't know anything about that. But yeah, I'm quite excited about the device. I'm gonna really test it out and see how it works. And of course, I really want to think of something where I can fully test out the camera. It is snowing outside, so I can potentially use that um, in a certain way to create some really good video have to um, see what is the best part and what to get because um, I do have something nice where I can shoot but right now driving outside isn't the most clever thing to do especially going that direction there is a, uh, quite a bit of elevation at some parts Netherlands terms so you don't want to get your car stuck for instance <laughs> that n wouldn't be ideal that definitely wouldn't be ideal <laughs> Yeah, and a uh, case and screen protector as well. And I always use a clear case. Always. Well, my daughter will be using the studio for school. Oh, good luck, uh, Watcher. Does it have... Ooh. Wrist? <laughs> uh, I think it... Oh. Wait, let me, let me check for you. Let me check that quickly. I have everything out there for myself. Uh, one second. Let me just quickly check that for you. Unless Lewis already answered. No. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Got the file. Let me just quickly check.
Bye, Roger. Have a good one. Yeah, that special edition actually looks really cool, by the way. Let me check, by the way, if it has a tap at the jump pad. Okay, you give a little bit of an indication. Throwing stuff on the ground. Okay, so what I can tell, it does have... new lip there hard to say i'm just gonna check the briefing for it just give me a second to see if i can give you that information or not it does have wireless charging for those who are wondering of course but we already know that xiaomi has been doing that a little bit and 50 watt actually not just 10 or 15 which would be really good I don't have that information yet. Luis will answer that for you. <laughs> I don't have that information, sadly. I'm just throwing something on the ground. Yeah, 10 watt reverse charging is actually really solid and really important. Especially if you have like those wireless headsets that you want to charge. If it's like 5 watt, that's really slow. And most offer about 5 watt, if I'm correct. Like that. Uh, not the message. There we go. That works. Okay, Larissa has to go. Um, I will I will answer uh, questions for about three minutes if there are any questions left. Um, if I have things that I don't know, I will comment it on the video. The video, the live stream will stay online for a little bit, and then you can check out the comment section, and I will have it uh, right there if I have anything that I don't know at the moment, or questions that you have, ask it on the video as well. I will answer them um, after that. Thank you though for everyone who's been here. I appreciate it. Uh, this was uh, this was exciting because I never live stream, so that's something different. <laughs> but it's quite fun. And um, again, thank you for Xiaomi for of course uh, allowing me to use La Larissa and Xiaomi to uh, for allowing me to use this in advance and with the stream as well because it felt more uh, like a could then talk about the device and show you the device at, as well. Uh, by the way, important, a lot of uh, phones currently when it comes to the fingerprint scanner under the display have a normal camera. This doesn't. This has that from Qualcomm as well. So that's actually really solid because you can tell, for instance, um, with those it lights up. With this it's not. Let me showcase it. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Joey, sorry. Sorry, Joey. Okay, let me...
yeah so any questions let them know in the video and uh i'll end the live stream right here thanks again for being here uh the video will stay online for a little bit so you can check it afterwards as well uh maybe there are some people who want to know some particular things um let me know in the comment section of the video <laughs> hey joe <laughs> Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the live stream. And again, I hope you enjoyed the products as well. I really want that TV. Did I already tell you I really, really want that TV? Because I really want that TV. Anyway, have a good one, everyone. Uh, and thank you, Ivan, as well. And thank you, everyone, for joining. Uh, uh, Larissa, as well, for the questions. That's actually quite helpful. Appreciate it. Have a good one, everyone. And um, talk to you guys. Well, when I release a new video. Cheers.